odds are all against me, I'm ready to go Burning it down, they ain't noticed till the temperature rose Bless the energy, then we erupt in a blaze Mama save us, I swear the baby's lately crazy these days People dancing like they warriors, use the passion I got my head in the clouds, in a galactic I'm on a venomous prowl, ready to snatch it Are you prepared for it? Now come on, yeah, let's go Raise up, that's right, run with it, it's yours Let's try, come on, yeah Welcome back to Gym Rat. I'm Grace Tamayo and I have a 20 minute full body workout for you. Make sure that you click on the information link below in the description for the full details of this workout. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with our cardio and we're gonna start here and just warm up our arms. And then we're gonna add some taps in here. When you're doing your circles, make sure that you have your arms your muscles tight, and you're not just swinging and throwing it. But you go here. We're gonna be doing some arm workouts with our weight, so I wanna get it warm. And we tap here, here, here. Okay, and then we're gonna go the other direction. Right here, extend your fingers. You can do some shoulder rolls. Here we go. And right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and rotate. Warming everything up. I'm bringing you into your cardio slowly because I don't want to kill you right away. <laughs> so we'll take our time, get things warmed up. The next move we're gonna start with is a ski lunge. So we're gonna start picking it up a little bit. So we're rotating our arms like this, get our shoulders warm, but we're also getting our abs engaged with this twist. Everything's tight and you're starting to get your breath going and breathing. And we're gonna go ahead and go into our ski lunge. So normally we just ski, you know, we're skiing here, but we're gonna add a little lunge right here, okay? Boom, boom, like this. Now, if you're in an apartment, we can just go here and here, and here and here. Or you can just pick it up a little bit. Start getting that sweat going. Right here, getting those hamstrings warmed up. Get in your mind and gear. You can add some arms. And then we're gonna hold it here and we're gonna just hop in a lunge. So normally we do those squat hops, but now we're doing a lunge hop. And we're starting to feel it. We're almost there. And then we're gonna go into the weight portion of our workout, okay? So just here, and then we switch sides, and that's it done your cardio and let's go ahead and switch sides okay right here here we go hop 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 and if you want to modify just go right here okay and now we're gonna take it here and get our obliques. You guys know this one. Side to side. Come on up a little higher if you need to. Or you come on down, elongate those abs. Get your focus. Start putting your mind right here into the workout. Leave everything behind for just 20 minutes. You can do the dishes later. <laughs> you can answer that phone later. Just 20 minutes right here. It's all about you in this moment. Taking it here. You can even add a little hop as long as you keep your, your form. Right here. Remember to breathe. And then 
we're just gonna bring it in and we'll start hopping right here. Little tiny hops. If you want to, you can just do this, okay? So right here. As we get into the workout, I kind of had a topic that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And just to keep you motivated and keep trying every day. So we'll get into that because I want you to come back. And sometimes we get busy and stressed and then fall behind or, you know, we get off track. But there's a way to just keep going instead of getting stuck and beating yourself up that you got off. So we're gonna bring it here and go into our weight portion of the workout, okay? So I have these weights here. You choose any weight that you would like, whatever you prefer. Sometimes if you don't even own weights, you can get some pantry Go to the pantry and get some food cans and add that to your workout or some little water bottles, you know, whatever you have. So first we start here into our plie. We go here and we go down. We plie squat first, right here. But while we're doing this, we're gonna raise up. So start here doing the plie squat, get that motion going and then raise up, holding your shoulders up, squeezing everything together, right here. There we go. I know you're starting to feel the burn, but that's good. Squeeze that booty at the top, squeeze. There you go. Breathing. Take your 15 second break. I'm gonna show you the next move. So don't hate me, we're coming right here. We're gonna stay here. You've got that motion, you've already got set up. So while you're getting your water, I'm just gonna show you, you're gonna do some calf raises right here. Let's go ahead and start and raise. Now, during the raise, we're gonna take one, lay, one arm up and then switch. Raise, rotate, switch. So, Raise and rotate that arm up. Raise your calf muscles. Rotate the arm up. Come back down so it's all together. Good job. You know, it's a lot to think about, which I know you can do it. Challenge yourself today. Just little baby steps. Right here and there. Good job. Couple more. Okay, now stretch it out. You got 15 seconds. We're going right back down into that little plie squat, but I know you've got it. So I'm gonna demonstrate. We're gonna come down here. Come on with me. We're gonna stay here and just pulse. You can have your weights down if you'd like. You can have them here or not for me because I ruined my balance there. We're gonna hold them here, whatever works for you. My balance is a little bit compromised on this shaky ground. So we're right here, woo! I feel this. We're up and we're pulsing. If you want modified, you can do one and pulse. You can switch and pulse. Go to the other one and pulse. You can come up a little higher and pulse. And let's finish up right here. Okay, woo! I felt that, so I know you're feeling it. Take your stretch, stretch it out. We're gonna do something a little interesting. So I'm gonna challenge you, put one weight down, or actually, I'm gonna hold both of mine because I'm gonna use this for balance. You take one weight, stick it behind your, your leg, and I'll show you in this direction. You go here and you press back. So, this could be tricky if you're trying to balance and then hold the weight. This is really strange for me with the round weights. Uh, what works best is a dumbbell. So if you have that, you can. 
If you don't have any weights, that's fine too. You're just gonna feel this as long as you keep your booty squeezed, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and switch around to the other side. So hold this weight for balance, just to counterbalance that. Squeeze it tight, and then go back and you squeeze your booty. This one's a little bit more difficult for me to balance because I have twisted and broken my ankle too many times. <laughs> so, but there's always a way to do it. Okay, and just squeeze right here. Concentrate, focus on something in front of you so you can balance. Okay, take your 15 second break. So you're gonna stand on one leg. You can be here or here. And then we're gonna go into our tricep. So ready. We're gonna come back here. Make sure that you're not letting your arms go behind you. You hold your elbows stable. And let's go ahead and start. And squeeze. So when you're doing the tricep, make sure that you're squeezing really tight when you come up. Really wanna feel that in the arms. And then you can try to get your balance. I'm gonna look forward just so I can focus. So I can hold my balance. It's really focusing and breathing. Holding your abs tight. If you lose your balance, you know it's okay to tap down. I just want you to try to put all the weight in that standing leg if you can. And let's go ahead and release. Take your breath, take your breather there. <laughs> I know it's gonna feel awkward at first, but if you stick with me each week, you'll get better. So let's go ahead and try the next side. Right here, just start getting that motion with your tricep. And then when you're ready, you can try to balance and squeeze and focus. This is about you right now, nothing else. Because it's gonna take a lot of concentration to do these moves. And you're going to improve every time you do one of these videos. You'll get better and we'll build on it. So don't beat yourself up. Here, put your tap, tap your foot down if you need to. Go right back in. Just stay brave, stay confident. There you go. Okay, so take your 15. And we're gonna do another little balance thing. We're gonna start with just curls straight up and straight down. And let's go ahead on that other leg and balance, okay? So this one's a little bit easier in the sense that you don't have your arms over your head and you're trying to balance. So just curl it, tuck those elbows into your waist. We go up and squeeze, down and squeeze. We don't lock our elbows, but we do try to go all the way down using the muscle to hold and flex. So what I wanted to remind you, if, if you get off your routine or maybe you're working on drinking more water instead of soda or whatever it might be, if, you know, one day you get busy or stressed and you lose that moment, okay, now we're gonna stay on the same leg, but we're gonna curl this direction, okay? So we're gonna go here and to the side. So that's what we'll do when we get started. Okay, let's go ahead. Then, sometimes I'll beat myself up. And I'll say, oh, what was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself, I stayed up too late, or whatever it might be. But instead, just say, oh, okay, you know what? I'll make a better choice tomorrow. We're gonna try this again. Because if you're beating yourself up, it's gonna be hard to come back in. But if you say, you know what, okay. Kinda had, you know, I ate that whole cheesecake there. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna try this again tomorrow, you know, and just come back. Always come back, always try again, okay? If you're here, I'm still proud of you. Cause you're doing those cur the curls right here. If you're here or here, doesn't matter because you're trying. We're gonna switch sides and get the other leg. So, you're gonna hold here, or you can hold out, you can go here. We're gonna change our arms, and we're gonna do some shoulder raises. So it'll look like this. 
If you want modified, you could do one arm at a time. You can always do one arm at a time. Just find what works for you so that you can stay and keep doing the workout with me. So you can be proud of yourself. Instead of saying, I can't do that, just think about what you can do. So if you can't do this, you can do this. If you can't do one leg, you can do this. And then comment in the video and tell me what you did or how you modified it. Because if that works for you, you might be able to help somebody else. We're all doing this together. Okay, you're good there. So we did two standing legs on one, on one leg, so we're gonna do one more move. We're gonna go to the side and race to the side. So get ready, get in your position, and right here. If you can, you can try to do two. So it's up to you. I don't want you to get frustrated with yourself. Be good to yourself. A little bit of challenge, always challenge, but but not so much that you get frustrated and don't come back. One day at a time. You guys are gym run ninjas. So, I believe in you, believe in yourself. Gym run ninjas. See if you can just do one with both arms or one standing on one leg. And finished. Okay, take your 15 second break. We're almost there guys. So here and then lunge forward. You can hold the weight here or you can hold it here. We're gonna switch sides, we'll rotate. So we go this way and then forward and then we go here on the other side and then forward. There we go. Keeping it real over here. Get off your phone. <laughs> oh, I missed a, missed a forward lunge there. So we go side and forward. Side, forward. Side, forward. Roll those shoulders back. And we have one more and hold it here. We've got one more move. So, you guys know this ab move. So you're right here, but we're gonna go up and windmill. We're gonna go here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. It's a little bit tricky, so I want you to go slow and tight, because you're holding both of these weights. Right there. I want you to feel it in your abs, not so much your arms. If you need to come up a little, that's fine. Because I just want you to focus more on your obliques. Hold it steady and still. Breathe. This is the last move. We're going to get into our stretching, do a little bit of yoga. It's going to feel really nice. You guys have earned it. So, and then we're finished. So you can put your weights down. We're gonna start bringing it down, okay? and go into our yoga. So, I want you to start here. You're gonna put your feet together and just roll forward. 
Let everything go, let everything drop. Release those arms. You can tuck your hands through here. Just have fun. Stretch it out. And then take your hands behind you. Let's get those arms and that chest. Roll your head forward. I like to switch cuffs, so if I'm holding, if I'm gripping here, and I do a stretch, then I switch and go here. Open up those legs, come on back, get the chest. Then we're going to twist. You can hold your arm that's behind you here and stretch the neck. I got a pop there. <laughs> And then just relax and enjoy, it feels so good. And then we'll come around and we do the other side. So right here, twist, postures up, straight, turn. And then you can get your neck. I keep getting some pops in there, but that's good. And then come on back over. We're gonna go ahead and just do our hamstrings right here. So you're right here, posture's really good, and then fold. Point your toes. And then we're gonna roll down very slowly, holding your abs together. And bring it down very nicely. Be good to yourself, just roll it in. If you'd like, you can bring your knees into your chest. You can roll it over. Then we'll go right here. If you're up for it, we're gonna go ahead and stretch our backs. You can do this one, or if that's too much, you can just put your hands underneath your back, clasp your hands together and raise up. It's a nice little stretch. So here's a fun little move. You can either grab your ankles and rock, and then we'll roll up, or you can come over and do the ninja. That's what I call the ninja. So that one's really fun. Then we come here and we're gonna slide over and back. Just stretch it out, catch your breath. Enjoy the ocean waves. Just relax and then come over. I want you to roll your shoulders. Roll your neck, side to side. We're gonna do our wrist, holding all that weight, so we're right here. Drop your shoulders, then we come here. Good job. Then we're gonna bring our head down. Just put the weight of your hands on the back of your head. And we'll go to the side. We'll go to the other side. Keep your shoulders dropped. Come on up. Shake your hands. Roll it all. Get yourself a nice little hug. You did this. You did the workout. I'm so proud of you. So that's it. Come back next time. You've got it. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye, thanks for joining me.